morning from Tanger, Morocco. My name is Ivana. Salam alaikum for all my Morocco viewers. Today we are going to Chef Chouen actually. But before we go and before I pack, can I show you the madness? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. I need to pack. But before I pack, breakfast, breakfast, man. On my way to the rooftop restaurant, look at the ceiling. I love this, it's so pretty. I also love the chandelier and the floor. Look how pretty. And the doors, earthing. The view from the breakfast restaurant. Love it. It's again very, very gloomy in there. Yo, today's breakfast. So I don't have the corn patty I had yesterday. I think this is kind of like a corn patty. And pen chocolate. Yes. I'm trying the pancake. <coughs> I think there's definitely corn flour in there. Mm. It looks a little bit like roti. Mm -hmm. Tastes good. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. Guys, can you see this weather? I can't handle it. Inspired by this wonderful, gloomy, rainy weather, I was just checking the weather for Chef Chouen and I knew it would be colder than here. But right now, here it's like 13 degrees and Chef Chouen it's Six degrees, so it's even colder. And also, it's, well, the weather is supposed to clear up tomorrow and be sunny, but I, I'm honestly, I can't handle anymore. I can't. And I'm looking at Marrakesh, and Marrakesh is going to be 25 plus degrees from tomorrow. Uh, and Saura is too far away, so I could take the overnight train to Marrakesh and just be in the sun tomorrow. I can't handle this. This weather is making me so depressed. Okay, I'll keep you updated for what we're going to do. Yep, I've made the executive decision to go to Marrakesh. 25 plus degrees sunshine, here we come. I can't handle this ish. I can't. Seriously, it's making me so depressed. I can't. Didn't come to Morocco to sit inside. I can't. Do you see this desperate face? This is how desperate I am for sunshine. I can't. I went to a reception to ask them if they could uh, look up the train times because I read on the internet that you could take an overnight train and then arrive in the morning. But apparently the last train leaving today is at, what is it? 1, 1 20 p.m. It's 11 now. I have to pack, I have to fix some food, I have to buy dresses for the hot weather in Marrakesh. But we're going to the sun. I cannot wait. Scorch me, sun, scorch me, my gosh. Casablanca. Uh, I literally don't know where we're going to end up today <laughs> because I have to get out in Casablanca. We have 20 minutes to catch a train to Marrakesh and buy a new ticket there. So um, everything's supposed to go well, but you never know. You never know. Seriously, if you're a control freak, travel will cure your control freakishness. And for me, it's a really good exercise in letting go and doing what makes me happy because my plan was. To go to Chef Chouen and I'm quite disappointed that we're not going because it looks so beautiful in pictures but you know it's not gonna make me happy to go to Chef Chouen now look at this weather I can't and it's cold and it's supposed to get better tomorrow but if it doesn't I would be very very upset so after that ish we're going to Marrakesh I hope this is a really nice train actually I didn't expect that I don't know why it's just nice I think I have a seat next to me um, and I can work, I can edit vlogs for you guys, so perf, I am not complaining, I'm not mad at this dream. I don't think I told you, but I got some food for on the road, some couscous, and I think I'm gonna eat it soon because I'm hungry. Some of you guys have asked me to share more of the prices that I pay for things, so this train ticket to Casablanca was 132 dirham, which is about 13 euros, something like that. The couscous was 40 dirham, and that's about 4 euros or something. And this is my sign to eat because I'm very, very hungry, but I just wanted, to, uh, I don't know, for the train to get moving. Oh, this is, by the way, a really, I think it's a big portion, right? Yeah, quite big. Look at my hand. So this time I have the couscous, this is, you know, potato I guess, carrot, squash, or zucchini, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, lots of veggies, no, 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 no. It's been a long 
long time I made a chow. Dude, India and Morocco are seriously the only places where I can't finish food because the portion sizes are just massive. This doesn't happen often. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna save this for later. Definitely not Casa Voyage. I have no idea where I am. I just asked someone and apparently we haven't reached Casa Voyage yet. But seriously, I don't know if I'm gonna make the train to Marrakesh. <laughs> Guess who's going to Marrakesh? Oh, we are. That's right. Do you see that train? 2050 Marrakesh. Train 621, platform 2. Winning in my flipping life. Well, oh wait. It wasn't 15 minutes. It was an hour and 15 minutes. But it's okay because they have Wi Fi at railway stations in Morocco. Love it. This travel day is not even remotely funny anymore. It's 1 a.m. We have arrived in Marrakesh. Um, I will tell you more about it when I get to my Riyadh, but I did not expect it. Ridiculous. Okay, I've been traveling now for more than 12 hours. That's right. Guys, I made it to my Riyadh. Finally. Riyadh is like a family owned. It's like a homestay in India. So you basically stay with the family. I'll give you a room to tomorrow because I just want to tell you something. So uh, from Casablanca to Marrakesh. I just sat down in this train compartment and there were two men in it and no women so I was just like hmm, probably more women will join later right so I just stepped into the compartment uh, the men helped me with my luggage they were so sweet and then suddenly the compartment filled up with just men and because this you know this is a society where men and women are well they're kind of you know separated it's, it's not uncommon, like Marrakesh and Casablanca, they're super, super uh, modern, but it's, it's quite common for men and women to be separated. So I was feeling so awkward. I was just like, oh my gosh, I hope I'm not being rude by sitting here or anything, but the men were so nice. And at one point, two older men, they were having some kind of very, very heated discussion with one man shouting and everything. I was sleeping, so I just woke up. I was looking, they started laughing like, look, look, you woke her up. It was so funny, actually. It was, um, it was, it was a hilarious experience. Also, when I arrived, in Marrakesh, there was this uh, taxi driver. He's, he really reminded me of my dad. He just had this dad energy <laughs> about him. So we were uh, negotiating a price. I don't know if I got ripped up, but, but seriously, I don't care. At this hour of the day, it's 1.30 a.m. I paid like, uh, I think, 60 dirham for a 10 minute cab ride. And I'm, I'm totally okay with that. <laughs> so he did the business for another cab driver and then Two of them, they brought me here and he literally walked in all of the alleyways with me until we found the Riyadh and until he dropped me off and everything. He just had this amazing dad energy about him. And it's just a really, really nice experience. People in Morocco are so nice. They're so friendly. The, the ones that I have experienced until now. So um, I'm very happy to be in Marrakesh. Marrakesh looks amazeballs. So... Uh, I will see how much energy I have tomorrow 
to explore because I'm really really exhausted also very mentally exhausted traveling by yourself is so demanding you wouldn't think that but seriously you have to be you have to be aware of your surroundings all the time you are the only one who is watching your stuff you're the only one who you know keeps in mind like what train at what time the train is leaving although in my case and the dean's case it might even be better than <laughs> when i'm by myself because the two of us well actually i don't i pay less attention when i'm with someone else so it's mentally also very very exhausting to travel by yourself it has nothing to do with morocco it's just in general <sighs> okay i'm gonna sign off traffic is a little bit intense just the way i like it there's craziness in the streets and it just reminds me of india if you if, well kind of enjoyed this travel day in morocco with me put a thumbs up and if you would like to see more of marrakesh click that subscribe button and then i will see you next time bye